Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to part 133 of Ecom series in our all 5.7, 5.8, and uh, we are going to continue working on the color filter. And this time we are uh, we are going to update our color filter that we have made last time. We are going to update our code uh, to make it even better. Okay. As far as the code is concerned, we want to shorten our code uh, so that uh, see here that uh, we have done everything separately. Separate separately means we have added all the colors separately here uh, that one color is coming then another one then another one so we are going to do with for each loop uh, we will make one uh, color array and uh, and then we are going to use for each loop and in that for each loop all the color will come one by one and then it will be really good for us as it will uh, means a lot of code will get reduced and uh, and it will look better even okay so we are going to update it so let's start working on this one you can see that earlier uh, even the earlier code is working fine when we select the filter they are working fine only the blue colors are coming if we will select blue uh, then if we will select black as well then black color will also come along with blue okay so uh, this color filter is also working fine but we will uh, make it even better in this video okay so let's start working on it. So first of all, we are going to update our product function once again. Uh, we updated the filter function last time you have seen. Uh, and product function also uh, we have updated uh, to get the results. But now this time we will get the colors from the products. So, uh, we will make one color array to, uh, to get the colors that we want. Okay, first of all. We are going to make one color array and the uh, we are going to uh, type here all available colors uh, that uh, we think that our website is having means all the colors uh, that the uh, clothing products can have okay you can add your own colors like this okay in array and okay, we can do like this okay um, whatever colors are there you can add all the colors okay so or even uh, you can do one more thing a easier way uh, is to get the colors from the products itself. Okay, that we will also do, but uh, in some time we will also do that uh, so that only those colors will come that the products are having from your database itself. Okay, so right now we are statically, statically adding these colors, but later on we will also make them dynamic. Okay, so like this we can add all the colors and this color array I am going to use here. Okay, going to return. Uh, to our blade file okay uh, these colors I am going to return to our blade file sidebar front sidebar okay so here everything uh, that kind of stuff we need only one div and other div we can remove as we don't require okay so we can move other divs only we require one div uh, where we can add the loop okay our oh, div is already here so we require this div only and this one is same thing so we can move this one and now uh, like this and now we can add the condition here okay so we are going to add the condition here for each loop we are going to add for each loop and if for each loop that color array that we have made there that we are going to make okay color array like this okay and as uh, dollar color like this and uh, after that uh, we are going to add that for each loop uh, and for each and for each like this okay so now uh, now uh, our colors will be uh, come will come here uh, inside this div Okay, I am going to do like this and I am going to use this color in place of all the colors that we have mentioned. Blue we have mentioned, so I am going to select all the blue colors 
and we'll give here uh, this dollar color and I need to give in Laravel tags otherwise it will not come I can give it like this okay so this I can give but here the issue will come if we will give like this so we need to remove this one from here and it will look like this in array okay so in array it will look like this okay so uh, now make sure that everything is fine in, the, in here okay so though we are going to make further changes and we'll see uh, that it, it will work fine or not okay so i'm going to refresh and going to see that how it will look and uh, and you can see all the colors are coming and they are set because there is some condition problem so that's why the attack we are going to update this one also but you can see that all the colors are coming here that we have mentioned there in array uh, and all the colors are coming here okay from there okay so a uh, few more things we need to do and okay so uh, we will add condition here uh, after for each loop we will add condition here uh, that if uh, uh, if the color filter is not empty then uh, then we will um, uh, then we are going to uh, check this or not like this kind of condition we will we are going to do okay so i'm going to do like uh, if uh, not empty not empty the uh, color filter like dollar get color okay if not empty then we will do something uh, that will make uh, it checked okay uh, else we are going to uh, i'm going to take one uh, variable okay that is color check variable for making it checked or unchecked okay so like this i'm going to do and it's okay so here uh, we can do checked uh, if it is not empty but we will not do like this uh, first we need to do for every color separately means uh, like if the color is coming first we need to make one color uh, array or some other array now we can pick here we can pick like color array like this color ARR okay and uh, here we will upload uh, from hyphen that is in case uh, there are multiple colors are coming and, uh, and here we will pick color like this and now i'm going to use uh, this one inside this here if uh, array this one and then color what it is coming here same thing that we have done here i we are doing here okay so that we no need to write there much of the code we can write here only then if this color is located in this color array sorry this color array okay then uh, what we are going to do we are going to repeat this one this condition we are going to repeat again uh, with check okay like this check okay else what we are going to do else okay and then we are going to repeat this one okay like this okay so after this also once again we are going to add and this okay so now what we have done we have done the same thing that we used to do here here we have done in for each loop that is color uh, is not empty it means if the color is located here like we used to do uh, like color filter uh, it is showing some color there like this that if it is not empty uh, then we are going to pick it and if there are multiple we are going to pick every color and we'll check uh, that if that color is uh, uh, color is matching 
with the color that that is coming from this array like the first color is coming uh, like this one black is coming at the first one so black so here the black color is coming and this black color we are going to check with this url with this url whatever it is like if the url is coming like this black hyphen blue so we are checking this black color with this black color okay so if this black color is matching with this black color in url then we are going to check this so so we have done this one that we are going to check this uh, equal to checked okay otherwise it will not get checked and in simple case if this is not if we are not using color filter at all then then we uh, will remain it as unchecked and this variable we are going to use in uh, here we are going to use uh, in place of this one we don't require this kind of code now because we have already described everything in a perfect manner there so we have shortened our code here see only code is that much that is the only code that we are doing oh, okay and this one is also uh, uh, don't require what is this color array this one is not required and oh, and this one is enough now okay this one is also not required we can remove this one so now see how much code uh, we have done uh, earlier and how much it is now just it start and ends with for each loop otherwise we need to do uh, means like this one color two color three color means this kind of div we need to uh, we need to uh, repeat again and again 10 15 times even 20 times for every color so so it will just uh, increase the page load time and also it will uh, look awkward it will look really uh, not good enough at all as far as the coding is concerned okay so now uh, we will able we can uh, we will try to see that what it will come here okay see here now all the colors are unchecked because the condition is now uh, working fine okay it is coming here this condition is working now at this time because we have not even selected the filter okay now i'm going to set one filter now the this condition black this condition it will come here and it is must going to check because first color is black and it is comparing you can see that black has been selected here as well and it is working fine black has been selected here in this page as well now i'm going to select even blue and you can able to see uh, see that black hyphen blue now both the colors are coming fine okay now this one is working fine also so one more thing we are going to do uh, we are going to update uh, these colors uh, from the query it means we are going to pick only those colors that are located that are present in our website from the table from the products table we are going to see uh, okay so from the products table uh, we are only going to get those colors that are located in the products table okay you are getting my point that here from the product underscore color table what color we are getting blue red black green so all these colors we are going to take we are not going to take any other color because they are not present in the website so why to waste you user time okay so we will not show all these colors we will only show those colors uh, that uh, are uh, that are stored in our database uh, that we have added from the admin panel okay for the products okay so uh, let's do that one simple query and that will replace this color array color static array we are going to replace okay so uh, we can we can simply comment this one we can simply comment okay and after commenting this one uh, we are going to add uh, here another variable same like color array and here we are going to pick model that is having our more product table and now we will do only only select product color we don't require any any other color we can take product color and one thing uh, make sure that we will pick group by because uh, we will only pick uh, one color uniquely we need to pick uniquely uh, we will not uh, show like blue red blue 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 like this we will only pick blue one time we will only pick red one time okay so that's why we are uh, using group by so product color after that we are going to uh, write here product color and after that get like this okay so now uh, we are going to once again color array we uh, also we will do that json decode uh, json encode 
okay and here uh, we will use color array like this okay and here we are going to use true and now like this and here uh, we are going to check okay uh, that whether the colors are coming fine and according to our requirement okay so like this we are going to see here and i'm going to add die because otherwise we will not come to know and i'm going to check see here black blue green and red all the colors are coming means only one time they are coming and these are the colors that we have added from the admin panel so these are the colors that are coming here as well okay and you can see here only these four colors are repeated again and again so we have taken them one time but uh, we will uh, we just need to uh, not need to add oh, we, we want all in one array not like these separate arrays like black in separate array blue in separate array we want in common array so for that uh, we will use array flatten okay you can search in net that what array flatten do it uh, it will uh, it will uh, do that multiple array to single array okay it will convert multiple array to single array you can see that i have used array flatten now i am going to see that it uh, all in comes in one array okay so uh, this one is perfect for this thing and now i can check there that only four colors must come you can see that only four colors are coming now and with black and blue uh, or all reflected because we are using black and blue so i am going to remove this one and we'll check that everything work fine or not okay and i'm going to see uh, i'm going to check black okay and you can see that black is coming fine i'm going to check blue and you can see that blue will also come fine so it is working fine okay so if i am going to check uh, green or red and they must also work fine and i'm going to see like green i am going to see and and you can see uh, it is refreshing it will take few minutes and now the green has also come up and you can see that green though it is not green and i'm going to select red okay and okay if i just want to uh, uh, select see red has also come i just want to select red then only red color products will come okay so one more thing we need to do you can see that there might be issue comes at home page and other pages where we are using that left side bar because there uh, we are not using any kind of uh, category url uh, so we need to disable this uh, filter color filter from other pages because it's part of the listing page only in any website you can able to see that product filter is the part of listing page where all the products are coming uh, from the category okay so so here we will add one condition one simple condition that we are going to add here okay and that condition is and that dollar url uh, must not be empty okay and we are going to add this condition not empty and then uh, then this uh, will not uh, work okay so and this condition also we are going to add uh, before color filter because color filter is the part of this page only and we can uh, remove from other pages like this and if and now we are going to check uh, here at home page that it must work fine you can see that color filter is not coming only the categories are coming because here only feature products are coming okay so once we will go in any page any particular page like i have gone to t-shirt page then we can able to see the colors are coming there okay so i hope that everything is clear now that uh, we have done this color filter in uh, first in a simple way then more dynamic way okay we keep on updating it and in future videos you are going to see that we will do this color filter in ajax in view.js also so so we are going to update this color filter further on uh, so that uh, you can update in your website as per your own choice but we will do in every way and uh, there are there are some comments that some uh, some uh, our my some of my expert friends in laravel 
uh, says that we must do in uh, that we must do but we must start with basics only only then we can reach there uh, because if we will straight away i will straight away do that kind of coding here here then it will not help our other friends like beginners it will not help beginners so nothing we can understand from that okay so we always uh, learn from the scratch even we are expert then again we need to start from the scratch otherwise uh, we will get stuck somewhere i myself get stuck uh, uh, at some times okay so uh, we must uh, uh, we continue learning from the scratch uh, we must clear our basics and then we will we can improve our uh, skills step by step we can improve further okay so i hope that everything is clear as far as color filter uh, is concerned so we will also work on size filter and we will also add some more filters uh, we will add some uh, sleeve filter we will add some fabric filter as well in products we will add first from admin those things because those are also required in e-commerce website so we will do all one by one okay so stay tuned for further videos okay then have a nice time goodbye